so if let's say you think it's it's, it's super hard, just like me last time, I, I I used to say my cousin, my cousin is like top scorer, you know, in, in, in any subjects. Okay, my cousin used to be like super good in, in Catholic high school, it's like one of the top top tens. So even my my cousin said, hey, MS hard, are you sure you want to take a note? So I, I take, okay, I take MS. Okay, I take MS because of that barrier there, okay, that, that psycho barrier there, huh? okay. So I, I developed this thing called, hey, my cousin also score not that good, so it means I won't be better than my cousin, you know, so I have that barrier there. I think in the end, my MS teacher told me this, okay, he said, that's your cousin, not you, you might be better than your cousin, then form 5, I get better because of that barrier. Uh, so I've been scoring quite low, you know, but form 5, I say, 70 plus at least. Uh, okay, I used to score like 20 plus, 20 plus at least. Uh, so that's why I would say, uh, it's whether you, you, you think it's hard or not. So of course, it will be tough, tough as in there is a lot of things that you have to study. Uh, but then it, it brings you up as in your overall. Uh, but you have to make sure you have that will in, in solving that question. Don't, don't do halfway like, you don't know how to do what. Yeah, I don't want to do really. I'll drop my admits. Don't do that. Uh, okay, don't do that. Uh, so that's the one. So in this chapter, we focus on right angle triangle. Three means tri. Tri means triangle. Okay, so we focus on what kind of triangle? We focus on right angle triangles. So when you look at right angle triangles, we're going to draw this. Yeah, we draw this. Bum. So we draw this. Now, after we draw this, can you tell me, like, quick one, you spell wrongly or so, or so, it doesn't matter. Tell me what's this. That's a right angle triangle, and that's the longest line. Everybody knows that. So, it's okay if you spell wrongly, because I don't know how to spell as well. <laughs> uh, so, what is that? Obtuse. Mm, okay, la, the, the U-S-E, that, that site, quite, quite near. La. So, the answer is high, poor. Tennis or maybe hypotenuse. See how you read it, lah. I'm not sure. Almost there, yeah. Almost there. So around there, so roughly you know that that that's the one can really. So this is the longest line, of course. Okay, that's the longest. And some some uh, some students mentioned to me, teacher, that's C. That's C. Uh, okay, can because in your formula that's called C. You're right. Okay, so this one is on the answering technique. Uh, it's not on explaining your Pythagoras theorem. Uh. Okay, now. So when you talk about this thing, right? Talk about this thing. I'm going to explore a bit on Pythagoras theorem, how you're going to write it, okay? Now, Pythagoras theorem, yes, I know that's the longest straight line called hypotenuse. And then we have another two side where I will name it as side number one and side number two. And side one and side two, one can be shorter, one can be longer, but then it can be equal as well. So your right angle triangle can be isosceles, okay? Now, the next one, the next one. So since you have all these characteristics there already, I'm going to repeat again. Uh, this is definitely the longest. Okay. Now the next one, the next one. So tell me what's the formula, everybody? Uh, what's the formula? Simple. Uh, for Pythagoras theorem. Yeah. For Pythagoras theorem. I don't know whether I spell correctly or not, Rafila. Pythagoras. Uh, for Pythagoras theorem. Theorem. I believe that's the spelling. Uh. Okay. Yes. So Pythagoras theorem, everybody knows what's that, right? The formula. So the formula will be A squared plus B squared equals to C squared. Boom. But, uh, but the one form one only you use one. Now we don't really use it. Yeah, Jeremy, that's the one. Okay, now. So when you come into form three, it's only one mark. One mark. So nobody going to write all these workings really on right? Now, now, so I'm going to do a quick one. You tell me your answer instantly, okay? I'm going to put it in red. So if let's say possible, you just tell me the answer without calculations. Okay, everybody see whether you can or not. Huh? Six, eight, what is K? Your tri triangle, what was that? I think it's Pythagoras triple. Wow, not bad. Huh? Everybody still remember that six, eight, ten, right? Now, if let's say you don't know this six, eight, uh, six, eight, ten, three, four, five kind of triangle, um, Pythagoras theorem triple, or maybe this kind of like uh, 5, 12, and 13, this kind of ratios combination, right? It's okay, and as long as you know how to calculate uh, so that triples thing, just throw it away. Okay, now, so let's go into the calculation part. Now, everyone, just go by common sense, okay? Now, I will just ditch the explanation in form one, okay? So we just go into the calculation based on our, our existing common sense. Now, in order to get the longer one, agree or not, you will plus these two things together based on what we learned in form one, right? So to get your longest one, you have to plus these two things, right? So suppose you will write your workings this way. Six square plus eight square equals to C square. It's not okay, not, oh, sorry. No, uh, we don't write C really because we put that K, right? Uh, so suppose we write this way, but then uh, I already say it's only one mark. So no point writing this, right? So 
Like what um, one, one of the students mentioned to me, like Jeremy said, teacher, the squares, throw it to the other side. Lah. Just straight away get the answer. You're right. So this square, when I move to the other side, you will square root the whole thing. So you will write this workings. Then you write the square thing. Lah. So I will recommend students to write this. K equals to square root the whole thing. This is better. When you are presenting your form three kind of working for Pythagoras, right? Please write one working and straight go into your final answer pen. Okay, a reminder to everybody, if let's say you are using 570MS, which is the, the old, older version, older version of uh, 570 uh, Casio calculator, right? It will be better if you can square them first. Like you're going to press like six square plus eight square, get a 100, and then you square root the answer. Okay, because the common mistake here is that for students where you you just develop the understanding to Pythagoras theorem, right? You might do something like this, square root six square plus eight square, and I tell you, gone really. Because what happens to your 570MS, they will square root this for you, you will get six plus 64, and you will get your answer as 70, gone. Gone. Uh, so make sure what you do is that you put bracket, or maybe you square the inner part first, then only you square root. Uh, okay, so just a reminder on that. Uh, if let's say you are using, uh, how to say, um, better calculators, or maybe the YouTuber calculator, remember the EX one, the class V one, uh, you can still with press everything because that will be like, um, they, they, they settle that for you already. Uh. Okay, now so back to our question. I will come up with two questions and you tell me what's the answer, okay? Everybody, Everybody, draw these two extra right angle triangle for me, and we're gonna insert some informations, and you and you let me know the answer, okay? Now, so I will I will wait for you. You type in the chats for me, ah. Huh? Okay, everybody, I don't need the final answer. I just want you to tell me whether it's a plus or a minus. That's all. Okay, that's a seventeen point one. That's a twelve point eight. That's a W. Okay, then I have another one, which is um, F, and this is 8 and 3.2. Everybody, tell me what is your W answer, as in you're going to plus the two figures given, or you're going to minus the two uh, figures, figures given. Like the figures will be 17.1 and 12.8, right? So you're going to plus or minus. Yeah, simple case, right? But make sure everybody needs to know how to write the workings, okay? So everybody know what to, what to do really. Yes, you're going to minus them because based on our form one knowledge, to get the longer one, which is hypotenuse, we have to plus. If let's say I get you the longer one, the longest, not longer, longest. So what you need to do is that you want to get the shorter one, right? You will take the long one minus the short one. Uh, so this is what you're going to write. W equals to square root 17.1 square minus 12.8 square. Ini okay, pa. Okay, you put okay. Not okay, you let me know in the chat so I can explain first. So this one form one, right? it's just that we need some skill before we do our trigonometries. Uh, okay, so the next one comes in. Uh. Uh, new student, okay, new student. Okay, uh, ons. Uh, so everyone not okay, just let me know. Uh, and again, I have to say, my chat, I closed already. Uh, and you want to ask me anything, just ask. Nobody can see your chats. Uh, okay. So come. Hey, F, F, you're going to plus or minus? Oh, uh, Daniel, you forget to square. You have to square first. Uh, you, cannot, you cannot put like 6 square plus 18 square. You put 14 square, cannot. You're going to square them separately. Uh, then only you, you plus them. Like, you're going to get 36 plus 64, you plus them, then you square root. Uh, okay, so common mistake other one. Okay, yes, everyone, you're going to plus them. Yes, yeah, so F equals to square root 8 square plus 3.2 square. Then you will get the answer ready. Okay, so now what you're going to do is that, come, insert into your calculator. Get me the two answer. I will get my answer as well. We will compare and see whether we get the same answer or not. Okay, form one version one. Okay. Uh. So, kasi square root 17.1 square. 
tolak 20.8 square. Tutup. So I will put two decimal points lah. Okay, I'll put two decimal points. Remember to round off if let's say you need it. Okay, you need it two decimal points minimum. Lah. You can write more if you want. Nice coffee. So square root eight square plus three point two square er, square. Close it. You will get your answer as eight point six one. Six or maybe eight point six two lah. If let's say I'm gonna put two decimal points. If let's say there's a units there, then you put units lah. No units, just ignore it. Okay, everyone, can I ditch throw this Pythagoras theorem away? Or or you need another example? Okay, next ah, uh, I'm gonna say okay. Thanks, bye. <laughs>